Today on the bench, the Max Slash is getting a few upgrades. Mm. That's the good stuff. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. That's right, we have some goodies to put in the Traxxas Jado, putting in the center diff. And we have some goodies for, from our friend Tyson over at Garage Life RC. So let's, uh, let's check out what he sent me here. Yeah, if, you, if you're if you looking for good quality 3D printed parts, whether it be roof rails, wings, wing mounts, wheelie bars, stuff like that, go check out his webpage, garageliferc.com. Because uh, he makes some really great products. You know, I wouldn't promote stuff if it wasn't uh, good stuff. So this should make a lot of Traxxas haters happy. We have a battery strap here. So this is going to take place of the two mounts that are here. And we will have a strap so it can use whatever battery. We also got an ESC mount. So now I'll be able to properly hold in my ESC. And this creation here that he, that he came up with that goes onto the center brace. Let's see. Goes onto the center brace. And you put your power button for your hobby wing, or whatever, in there. And then, what's he got here? There's a clip here for running. Oh, so you just feed the you feed the motor wires through here. So, I guess that would be step one: feed the motor wires through here, and then you can put it on here. But neat way of keeping your motor wires up, getting your your button on there. And dude, man, most amazing colors over there. Now the center diff. Uh, where do these screws come from? Now the center diff. If you're going to stay on 3S, I think you're fine with the slipper clutch unless you just prefer, prefer the performance of a center diff, which they are nice. Uh, my Rustler, which is, I believe, a little bit heavier than this, has done fine on a slipper clutch. It's not the best performance. I really do want to do this upgrade to that vehicle one day. But when I took this thing, when I took this open, that slipper clutch was getting really scored up on 4S. So if I want to keep running 4S, I'm going to have to make the investment into the slipper uh, center diff because it's not going to hold up. So I'm going to go ahead and put all these parts in. Uh, let me go ahead and get started on this and I'll check back in with you. Mm. Ah, got it done, no problem. Everything fits in here beautifully. Now I did vent this body a little bit, seeing how I'm kind of done with the speed running. I was just worried if I vent this before, maybe air would get in here, but I drilled some holes here. It would be nice if Traxxas would have just made that. And then I accidentally thought this was the back and <laughs> drilled some holes there. But I should have some good cross airflow. Now, I didn't have any problem with this car running hot until I went with the 40 tooth pinion. So now that I have the center diff, we're back to a 45 tooth uh, spur gear. And I put the factory 12 tooth pinion gear on here, if I didn't mention it early. Er, so we'll take this back out. Gonna do a speed run and see what this will run on the stock gearing. Granted, although it's a center diff, that's not gonna make any difference. It's still the 1245 gearing. See what it runs. And I'm just gonna be happy with it at that. I can always gear up because when I did have the 15 tooth pinion in here, uh, it was warm, but I didn't overheat. It didn't, uh, never went in the thermal. Didn't do that until I went with that 40 tooth spur. So check it out, man, let's see. I know I can't do too much, but yeah. So I suggest if you put this switch mount in here, pull the wires as far forward as possible because the body dips down here, you'll feel the wires. But look, that's pretty neat. You got your on off switch. You got the wires all tucked in there. Uh, got the battery strap right here. And then we got the center diff. And yes, I know some people said, oh, after all this stuff, you'd be better off with the VXL. And, you know, some quick math. Yeah, I got probably about like about 520 or so into this now because we got 80 bucks for the ESC. It was 35 for the metal hexes. It was like 10 bucks for the dry shaft, which I still say I don't think you totally need it. And then 
what was it, $60, $70 for the center diff. Now, if you stay on 3S, like I believe I mentioned earlier, I think you're fine with the center diff. But if you're going to go 4S, you're definitely going to need that slipper clutch. And if I mess those words up, man, forgive me. It's kind of hard. <laughs> I'm human, man. I, I don't have a teleprompter here. Give me. But, yeah, there we have it. So, let's go out there and see how fast it'll run. Oh, and I still got the Synchro 4 tires on here. Once I get done with the speed run, I'm going to put the Traxxas tires on here because I, I do like the way they, you know, for air control, the way they balloon. And they actually do pretty good in the dirt. Uh, so... These things are really aggressive. They dig in really nice. But these things were like spinning, which I kind of like. So I'm going to put these back on my synchro, these back on here. That, but that'll be after this. But if you're going to want a speed run, you're going to want to like run this car fast. Get, get you a set of wheels and tires for the uh, synchro 4. Because these things will definitely hold up to it. Let's go run it. So this is going to be a really good test for this new mic that I have. The DJI mic it is windy I hope this works because man oh, I didn't bring any adapters all right take two <laughs> so now I can fit my garage life RC battery mat in here uh, you got my balance lead rubber banded down so it doesn't get caught in anything and yeah my stupid adapter so now that I'm using this, I'll probably just go ahead and solder one of these connectors on here now. Now that I know what battery I'll be using. Uh, I'm not sure if there's enough space. Well, I guess we'll find out. I'll tell you what, man, that's a heavy duty strap. Alright, so we got speed. Just show you. All right, speed. Sounds weird. Okay, this is a factory gearing now. 12 tooth pinion, uh, 45 tooth spur. Guys, what do you think? 25 with this gearing was factory. Still 64. <laughs> that's freaking awesome. Dude, that's 64. So now... And all right, now according to Traxxas... And you know, their speeds are always, if they say 65, you're probably not going to get it. And that's always with like a speed gear. So. Man, that sounds weird. Maybe it's just the sound of a, a diff and not a clutch. Oh, and just in case if anybody's wondering, the uh, center diff is 100K. Oh! Uh oh. Yeah, so I'm I'm happy with that. That top speed's phenomenal. Uh, this should be a pretty easy gear for this motor to turn. Uh, I think we're good. I got the uh, advertised high speed on uh on the factory gearing. Oh uh, yeah, see, I got these uh, springs tightened for speed running. Oh, you know what? 
these are the synchro tires too so they grab a bit better they are way more traction than the uh, Traxxas tires still has this weird sound to it I think it's I think it's sending quite a bit more power to the rear now what it sounds like um, might be why it's not turning as good either so they don't have that front end helping to pull man tell me I need to thicken this center diff up That'll be... That has to be crazy. Oh, yeah, look. It's easily sending power to the front. So, oh, that's what's happening. It's just... Where's my reverse? It's spinning the front tires. Oh, that's what's going on. Yeah, I need to thicken the damn center diff. Something don't sound right. Uh, I guess maybe it's just because the front tires are doing all the... That's really why it ain't wheeling. Yeah, it wheeled at first. There it goes. Oh no! Yeah, wow, so I gotta thicken the center diff. This thing's really putting down some power. That's probably a world record for a Jado wheelie. <laughs> uh. You know, to be honest with you, I'll probably just, I'll probably just gonna run this on 3S. I don't know. Seems like it's a bit much for this. So there you go. I know. Uh, so basically, yeah, I'm at the same same price in that as a VXL, but you can't buy a VXL right now. So, and I know I've I've had uh, some comments. People uh, bought the 3S, and they said they made. I understand though that the VXL that's being offered by Traxxas, and this is going to be a 4S. It's not a 3S deal. So even if you put a 3S system, it won't be this or the one that they're offering. Man, I should just leave the center diff alone. It's still carrying that front end. Oh no. Yeah, it's still carrying that front end. Oh man. Alright, well, I don't want to make this video too long. Um. Ah. Uh. Probably do some shock tuning or something, make this tune it more for ground pounding. Uh, I still, I might thicken that center diff up because it's just overpowering those front tires. I think that's probably what's. Oh, why it's turning so bad. Alright, everyone, so. I'm going to calm down on this for a while. There's uh, some more stuff coming out that we're going to have shortly. Uh, I think I proved whatever I needed to prove with this. <laughs> we got it up to, uh, what was it, 74 with the 40 tooth pinion and a 15 spur. So now I'm on a 12 tooth and the 45. Yeah, 15 and 40, 45 and 12. 
I am running on 4S now, but I think in the future I'm just going to run on 3. Because technically, yeah, you're not supposed to run 4S with this size motor, but I don't care. It ain't blown up. Just as long as you don't overheat it. Everybody freaking out. <laughs> I ran 6S through my Vendetta stock motor. It didn't blow up, but... Anyhow, so I hope you enjoyed uh, watching the Jado grow. So we basically made it a VXL. Now it's 4S, aluminum hub, steel drive shaft, um, and it's going. What? What did we get? 63, 64 on the actual smaller 12 tooth pinion. So, hey, anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching the build, all the uh, Jado stuff. I'll have more with the car, but like I said, more stuff's coming out. We got some new vehicles that should be rolling in pretty soon. So. It's going to be lots of content with that. And I will be back with this and other cars. Everyone, appreciate the support. The link's down below. If you shop Amazon, start at my homepage. Even if you just buy soup or something, I get a commission just for you going to Amazon. You don't necessarily have to buy stuff in my store. But if you're interested in the stuff that I use, uh, check out my store and go under uh, Remote Control, and you'll find a lot of it there. Everyone, appreciate the support. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Thank you.